Speak. Just in general word. So the function is binary relationship between two steps. So I think uh, function, function is mainly the, uh, some rules or law that uh, defines the relationship <coughs> between uh, between two variables or one on variables. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? In, in mathematics, whenever we try to define something new, we actually use those things which are previously available and we connect them together to get a new thing so here in all this definition if you look closely this thing is new function is the new topic but if you look at this definition a function f from set a so this is familiar it, it, it's 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 whenever you go to a new place if you find some old old faces there, you become happy that okay, I have some friends here. If there is no one from the old friends, then it takes time to build up the relation with the new. So in this case, so far up to this, everything was new. But as well as when I saw A, I become happy that oh I know this A. This we were talking in the relation. And also B is a relation now again this thing i already know what is relation in mathematics with domain a i already know the domain the meaning of domain and the range b i know the meaning from the cross product so actually we are now trying to connect a relation with a new thing so i'm trying to prove that a relation is leading us to another mathematical definition which is a function so a function f from set a to b is actually a relation but it has to follow two further properties if any relation r if it follows these two properties then this r will become f so if it do not follow these two properties it will remain a relation but it will not become a function a relation can become a function but not all but it is for sure that every function is actually a relation because a function is coming from relation if 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 something is a relation then it can become a function there is no other choice for a function to to become existent so it means if something is a function it is for sure a relation but if something is a relation then it can become a function or it cannot become a function so this definition a function f from set a to b is a relation with the domain a and the range b is a set such that for every element coming from a the first element of the order pair there exists an element in b second thing is for all x y belong to f x z belong to f then y must be equal to z if there are two order pairs such that their first element is x so i'm saying the first element is one in both cases and the second element is for the first pair is i'm saying it is y and the second pair i'm saying it is z then this case is not possible 
so it is not possible that the first same element can connect with two different elements of the second set B. So if this thing is happens, then it actually means the second element Y is equal to the second element of the other ordered pair. So it actually says 2 equals to 3, which is not possible. If 2 equals to 3 is not possible, then these kind of ordered pairs are not possible. There are two sets. First one is, so the part one is, the relation R is defined that the set of relations will only contain these ordered pairs. 2, 5, 4, 1. Okay. <clears throat> this is the first part. Now, I just need to, the, the question is that if this is the relation, let me write it here. The question is that check this relation R is a function or not. So what I need to do, I only need to check the two properties of the function. For every element, for every element x in A, this, these elements x are coming from from A. 2, 5, this set A, for 2, I have an element 5 in the relation. So, 2 is not blank. Similarly, for 4, I have at least one element. So, it has two elements, but I, if I have one element, that's fine. So, I can see that for 4, there are some elements in the set of relations. And also for the 6, I have some elements in the set of relations. First condition is valid that every element of the set A has some elements from the set B in the set of relations. So I am okay with this. So the first condition is satisfied. Second condition was if there are two ordered pairs such that x, y belongs to the set of relation and x, z also belong to the set of relation then the second element of these two ordered pair must be equal. That is, y must be equal to z. If the first element of any two ordered pairs in the set of relations are equal. Now look at the set of relation which I have written, rewritten here. This is 4. This is 4, which equivalent to x. So I have two ordered pairs, which whose first element is same. I'm saying, let me say, that x, y equals to 4, 1 and the second x, z equals to 4, 3. According to the definition, these second elements must also be same. So it says, this definition says that 1 should be equal to 3, which is not possible in nature. So it means this definition fails. Now this definition fails. This condition is not fully satisfied by this relationship definition. Therefore, I will say no. This relation is not a function. And another way to express functions is like function machines. So it is a very simple and, and daily life example that, for example, if you have an ice cream machine, now this is a machine and you input something into this machine, you give it some input. What is the input? It is some ice, some cream, some milk, etc. You put them into this machine. Now this machine is a function. When you put all this input, this is the domain. These all things, these are the set A. The set A contains ice, cream, etc. This is the domain input. When you put this domain into the function, the function does some processing and it gives you an output. That is the set B, ice cream. 
So, another way of understanding the functions is consider them as a machine. Whenever you put something into the machine, the machine gives you an output. So, this machine is actually the function. Then one is square, squaring function, a function from x and it gives an x square. Whenever you apply the function on a certain thing, it gives you an x square. Successor function is whenever you apply the function on an element, it gives you one next to the element. Constant function is whenever you apply, it gives you any constant value. So whatever the value of x is, your answer will be 3. Whatever the value of x is, your answer will be a constant value. So it is called a constant function that whatever you do, the answer will be the same. For now, I am giving you an exercise to do it and send it to me be before the end of this class. Try them and send me the solutions before the end of this class.